Hello, and thank you for joining us for this informational session about the Hope Squad at George Ranch High School. My name is Nikki Holmes. I am the Family Support Specialist for George Ranch High School and a Hope Squad Advisor. And my name is Kelly Kipping. I am a Student Services Counselor in LCISD and also a Hope Squad Advisor. I'd like to start by extending a congratulations to you. Your child was chosen by their peers to serve on the Hope Squad. The students at George Ranch were asked to nominate peers who they felt were trustworthy, good listeners, and non-judgmental. The students were not informed of Hope Squad or explained the reason for the nomination. Your child was recognized by their peers as a trusted confidant. Hope Squad is a peer-to-peer -peer suicide prevention program. Hope Squad members are nominated by their classmates as trustworthy peers and trained by advisors. The program reduces youth suicide through education, training, and peer intervention. Hope Squad members will learn skills and techniques that can help students in difficult situations. Hope Squad is nationally known for the ability to connect students with each other and to mental health resources. Hope Squad members are not expected to be counselors or therapists. Research is fundamental to Hope Squad's mission and plays an important role in the ongoing development and delivery of the program. Training is based on years of suicide prevention theory, research, and best practices. Hope Squad works with researchers at the University of Cincinnati, Brigham Young University, and the University of Utah to evaluate and develop the program. In order to best answer the question, why a Hope Squad, it's important to recognize that the past few years have been challenging with the pandemic. Connection via social media has become much more frequent than human interaction, which can sometimes further isolate our youth. The lack of human connection has had a negative impact on our youth. Hope Squad members strive to help build student connectiveness by creating a safe school environment, promoting connectedness, and supporting anti-bullying and preventing substance misuse. Hope Squad members hope to reduce mental health stigma and encourage mental wellness by actively modeling inclusivity and diversity in the school environment, which can increase students' mental wellness, and by using skills learned in Hope Squad. In the video we will show you next, it says that suicide is the third leading cause of death. However, those facts have been updated since the video was made. Statistics now show that suicide is the second leading cause of death in youth ages 15 through 29. This video will explain more about the Hope Squad and Hope Squad members. Suicide is a leading cause of death among youth aged 10 to 19 years old. Thousands of youth are lost to suicide each year. However, most suicides are preventable. Youth who are contemplating suicide frequently give warning signs of their distress. Most youth will tell a friend or give a warning sign that they are struggling. But many of their friends do not tell an adult. A Hope Squad is a group of students nominated by their peers as good listeners and caring fellow students. They work closely with their local mental health agency Hope Squad members are taught by school advisors on how to recognize suicide warning signs in their peers and provide support. Hope Squad members are trained on how to talk to a fellow struggling student. If the peer needs help, they listen and then try to convince them to go see an adult in the school. If that does not work, they inform a school counselor about their concerns about their peers so the counselor can contact the student and the parents for additional help and support. Hope Squad members also bring suicide prevention awareness to the entire school by holding an annual Hope Week, when fellow peers are given information about suicide prevention. For more information, please visit hopesquad.com. Hope Squad promotes interpersonal connection with peers, fosters inclusivity, and a sense of belonging. Hope Squad members will learn great leadership and interpersonal skills that will benefit them beyond their time on Hope Squad. For Hope Squad to be successful, it takes a group effort. That includes parents, teachers, administration, and community support, along with committed Hope Squad members and advisors. We will now show you an NBC Nightly News clip from May 2019 demonstrating Hope Squad's importance and impact on students, schools, and community. There are now over 1,600 squads in 41 states and Canada. In high schools across the country, a crisis. 
Who here knows somebody personally who's contemplated suicide? Wow. Every single one of you. Suicide, now the second leading cause of death between the ages of 10 and 18. For Utah principal Dr. Greg Hudnall, it's more than statistics after he was called to identify the body of one of his 14-year-old students. I literally threw up and sobbed. I made a vow that I would do everything that I could to help prevent suicide. He founded Hope Squad, a way to help kids change how they talk about mental illness. Those young people feel like they're the only one. They're embarrassed, they're struggling. The program gives students the tools to recognize those in need and get them help. I don't think that most people understand that people do say that they're going to commit suicide um, most of the time before they do. There are now more than 500 squads across 18 states and Canada. Another 100 will begin next year. We're having this connection now, we're having this relationship now, and I care about you. Students are chosen by their peers and specially trained, meeting regularly. This is Hope Squad's first year in Mason, Ohio, and the first year without a suicide since Abby Gadio started at the school four years ago. Do you think Hope Squad has saved lives this year? For sure. I think that because of Hope Squad, we get it, we get to those students early enough. That stigma is breaking down. Students are willing to accept help. Fifth grader Valerie Golvar recently spoke up when she saw a friend was cutting herself. She told me about it and said, don't tell anyone. And my immediate reaction was to go straight to a Hope Squad advisor or an adult. A move that may have made all the difference for that student and her peers. The best part about Hope Squad is just knowing that you're able to um, help. Help and hope at a time they need it most. Kristen Dahlgren, NBC News, Mason, Ohio. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching. Though it is an honor to be nominated by, to be a member of Hope Squad, Hope Squad is in no way a required or mandatory obligation. We want the nominated students to really think about the decision on whether or not Hope Squad is the right fit for them or not. We want students and parents to discuss the pros and cons of the program in order to make an informed decision. Your child may have their own mental health issues and depending on where they are in that journey may or may not be the right timing for them to participate in Hope Squad. Please reach out to your child's school counselor and or therapist if you have specific questions or concerns. Hope Squad members organize school-wide activities that promote positive mental health and inclusivity. Hope Squad members are given tools and skills whereby they recognize and observe certain behaviors and then refer to trusted adults. Hope Squad members are not trained to be counselors or therapists. This is a sample Hope Squad contract that we will expect Hope Squad members to sign and commit to. Hope Squad members are the eyes and ears of the school. Students are trained to watch for at-risk behaviors, provide friendship, and to seek help from adults. A big part of Hope Squad will be confidentiality and that will need to be upheld to the highest. Of course, participation, attendance, and maintaining the characteristics of being non-judgmental, being a good listener, and being trustworthy will be expected. This is a glimpse of what the Year 1 Hope Squad curriculum will look like. It comprises six core phases and lessons on self-care, adversity, resilience, suicide prevention, and mid-year motivation. The phases have produced successful hope squads throughout the United States and internationally. The remaining two phases, feedback and supplemental resources, are an ongoing and a result of continued growth based on hope squad responses or needs in the community. One of the strengths of hope squad is that the organization listens to the hope squad members' needs and experiences and provides the resources needed to be successful. It is a dynamic process. Parents, you are a very important part of Hope Squad's success. This video depicts a parent's Hope Squad experience. My name is Christy Wood and we live in Linden, Utah. Three of my kids have been in Hope Squad, the youngest three since they've started doing them in this area. Um, they started the high school one after we'd had a couple suicides and our school was at a real low. And it has been such a positive program in our school. How they choose Help Squad is kids, the, the, the student body will select names, turn in names to their administration or however they do, of, of kids that they would feel comfortable talking to and they would trust. You know, I, I was joking with Greg, the, 
the founder of Hope Squad, and he was telling him some families do baseball and some families do karate. Well, our family does Hope Squad. And it's kind of been something that I guess we started parenting in a way that my co kids were kind of already on that Hope Squad path before it even existed or we were aware of it because we've always been, it's always been really important for our family that we include others. We were the family that you couldn't just invite one or you know a couple of friends. You had to invite the whole class over for the event. And we always did that thing, it's more important to be to be kind in our family. And so I don't think it was such a stretch. And I think that um, I think that a lot of kids would like to be that not that way, not like my kids are so awesome, but I think they would like to know how to look out for others. And that's one of the things I love about Hope Squad. Like I said, my kids, we tried to be includers, but they didn't start out with the skills on knowing how to look for a lonely person or see the signs of someone that might be feeling um, depressed or, or suicidal. They had to learn these skills. And that is one of the things that I love about Hope Squad, particularly in the high school. They have a class where they meet and they get the training that really helps them be effective. And um, I know that sometimes parents worry that it will get a little dark and heavy, but they really do teach them the self-care skills that they need. In fact, my, my um, senior boy, I joke sometimes the other day, he came home from school and he was like, like noticing like, yeah, I had kind of a hard day. He was telling, you know, I was telling him, I had hard, kind of a hard day and um, this went wrong. And, and he was like, mom, and he came right next to me and put his arm, I can tell you've had a little bit of a hard, a hard day. That must be a little frustrating. What can I do for you? And how can I listen and help you? And I turned around and said, you are hope squatting me, bro. <laughs> And it was kind of a good thing because I really want, don't we want our children to be like that, empathetic and kind and, um, and capable that way. And so um, I was really thrilled that he could look out for the feelings of his mom. If he's looking out for his mom's feelings, you know he's looking out for others. My name is Christy Wood and I am a proud Hope Squad mom. Now I'd like to give you some information regarding parental involvement. If your child decides that they would like to join the Hope Squad, they will need your permission. A permission form was sent home with your child. Please sign it and have your child return it to the counselor suite. This is the parent meeting, so you've already covered that one. There are resources for parents on hopesquad.com. Also, you can always reach out to an advisor if you have questions or concerns. Respecting confidentiality is always a top priority. If your child discloses to you that they have concerns about a peer, it's important to keep that confidential and only share with a campus counselor or Hope Squad advisor. It's also incredibly important to check in with your child frequently to ensure they are taking proper care of themselves. If you ever have questions or concerns, please do not hesitate to reach out to a Hope Squad advisor. We mentioned the importance of community resources in a previous slide. Here is a list of resources that are utilized when a student is in crisis. These resources are always available, not only during the school day. HopeSquad.com is the official Hope Squad website. This is the homepage. On the website, you can access the parent manual and additional resources. This concludes our parent presentation. This slide gives you the George Ranch Advisor contact information. If you have any questions, please go to the link on the final slide to input your questions. That link can also be found on the parent email and on the letter attached to the parent permission form that was sent home. Thanks for your participation. We look forward to the George Ranch High School's inaugural Hope Squad program.